how to best serve others. And my goodness, I loved writing about this today because often when I write, it just becomes so obvious, so obvious where the confusion is, so obvious what the innocent misunderstanding is. And as we look behind and beyond the fear, we recognize how easy it is, how easy it is to serve, how easy it is to appear to be helping. What I'm ultimately unraveling is a discovery that is not trying to serve, not trying to help. There is an unavoidable service that takes shape, an unavoidable help that happens just by being you. And for me, this is the best service. It's kind of like kindness. Isn't the best kindness the kindness that's not trying to be kind? Because the trying to be kind is kind of gross. It's like, I want to appear to be kind. So what would a kind person do? Which is like saying, it's not really kind. I just want to look kind. It reminds me of the comedy in trying to be authentic. What would it look like for me to be authentic? And then I'll try to be that. We're missing the point here. This is what I love about these qualities that we crave, whether it's kindness, whether it's authenticity, whether it's love, compassion, freedom, service. Authenticity of these things are effortless. And if we think they are things that you try to do, then we miss the truth of what they are. These expressions, these flavors of being arise naturally and effortlessly from seeing a deeper truth of life. For example, love is what arises effortlessly when you see there is nothing to fear. And the more you see the truth of life, the more you see there's nothing to be afraid of. And so the more you see the truth, love is a natural byproduct. It's not something you make happen. It's not something you try. It is the fundamental nature of reality. Just like these other things that we crave that would be expressions of love, they are already the foundation, like service, like compassion, like freedom, which is why throughout time, the spiritual pointer and all the different traditions have some way or another said, let your priority be the truth. Let your focus be on the truth and then everything else will be given to you. Which, you know, when I was a teenager, that irritated me. It's like, but there's things I want. I can't let the truth be my focus. Oh, silly tiger. <laughs> How to best serve others. This brings me to the exploration of why. I mean, imagine you ask this question. How do I best serve this person in my life that I care about? this friend that's struggling? How do I best help my partner in their difficulty? And I'm always inspired to first ask the question, why? Why do you even want to do that? And then we get the classic story that in some subtle ways tries to make yourself look good. And then the more we investigate that story, in most cases, it's really because I'm scared. I'm scared that if I can't help them, they'll leave me. I'm scared that if I can't help them, they won't like me. I'm scared if I can't help them, I won't be able to hold on to them anymore. I'm scared if I can't help them, I won't be able to hold my illusion together of where it is I think I'm going in my life, what it is I think this person is to me. I want to help because I want to protect me, which is an interesting intention because then your help isn't really about the other person, even though we can tell a story that it is, but in the wanting to help, if there's emotional disturbance, you can be confident that your help isn't as sincere as you would like to imagine. <laughs> On the topic of helping, I think it's interesting to assume that I know what another person needs in their journey. So in my helping, I'm going to tell you what you should or shouldn't do because I think I know. And as it relates to the real point of life, which is not reaching some future destination, but rather connecting more deeply with the truth of life. I have no clue what roller coaster you're going on that is gonna point you home. So I don't know what you need. And so in that, from a deep place of sincerity, I don't know to, how to help you in the way of controlling your experience, or getting you to do this or that. Sure, there's things that might help, but that's very different from an assumption that says, I know, because I don't, which is something to look out for. There's a profound difference between what you think and what you know. And if you confuse what you think for what you know, you're setting yourself up for a little bit of a disaster. 
because you'll find out that you don't really know. And the more you think you know, the more it's going to hurt when you find out you don't. And so it might be more wise to just be radically honest with yourself about what you know and what you don't know. <laughs> what we're pointing to is unraveling the confusion that's in the way of serving in a productive capacity. This is coming back to how do you see? Are you seeing with a confused filter of fear that's distorting what you're seeing? Or are you seeing clearly? Are you seeing in a way that is in alignment with life? Or are you seeing in a way that is insecure and afraid you might not get what you want in the future? Which means you can't really listen to the moment. You can't allow the moment to be the moment because you might not get what you want. And if that's the case, you're going to try and manipulate the moment, which includes manipulating other people in order to protect what you want in the future. These misunderstandings must be clarified if we're going to have an opportunity to see beyond them. And why do we want to see beyond them? So that more love can be seen. We are holding space for more love to be seen. And part of what happens in that space that's held is we be still and we ask ourselves, but what's really happening? We can see what we think is happening which is what we imagine is happening. And yet beyond all the mind's noise, its projections, its fears, there is a present moment experience that is untouched by your mental commentary. Are you in touch with reality or are you frantically running around trying to keep your story together? The question is not, what do I do? The question is, what do I see?